Uh, today we're working on the neck of the instrument. This is my blank. Uh, it's a, I'm going to make the neck out of maple. It's three inches wide by three quarters inch thick. And I'm going to use a scarf joint for the headstock. And there are different ways you can make a scarf joint depending on whether you glue this cut piece to the bottom or the top of the cut. Uh, and as you can see here, I've, I've marked where uh, I want to make this cut. And I'm going to use this jig to cut it out. Uh, simple to make. It's just uh, at a 13 degree angle so you get the appropriate cut. So for right now, uh, we're going to cut the scarf joint. And you almost never see in the plans uh, a finished length for the neck because they're there are several variables. Of course, it depends on the scale that you're going to use. And it also depends on how many frets you're going to put on the instrument. And also, um, how you're going to attach the neck to the instrument. And so, I'm going to use a dovetail joint to attach this. But for now, what we'll do is we'll line this up. Uh, and we'll cut the scarf joint and continue after that. We've cut our scarf joint or <clears throat> getting ready to glue on the headstock. I have a dry fit here. We'll hold the, the neck piece on uh, with a clamp here to keep it from sliding. We're gonna glue it on to the bottom. Uh, there's a stop here that will prevent it from sliding when we clamp it together here. Before I uh, glued it, I trimmed down this uh, headstock piece to a half inch on my bandsaw, so you won't have to worry about that later. So we'll get some glue on here. And we'll check it to make sure that it's square. The scarf joint for our neck is dry, and I've drawn out the neck full scale so I know exactly where I uh, want to put everything. Getting ready to glue together the pieces for the tail of the neck here. And uh, so that's what we'll do next.
got the blank for our neck here and we are going to cut it down to size on the bandsaw. We've got the basic shape of our neck cut out. I did cut a slot down the center so I can put a reinforcing strip in there, um, some hardwood, and a dovetail joint on the bottom. And so we're gonna fasten it down so we can do some more shaping. So I have an assortment of sharp, raspy type things here that I can use for the shaping. Uh, I'm gonna start on one side Go kind of slow, don't take off too much at one time. You might want to flip it back and forth so that you get an even cut on each side. But I'll start up with this here to try to shape the... been trimming away, uh, filing, and kind of hogging out the basic shape of the neck. Uh, it's pretty close to where I want it now. I'll finish it off. Uh, probably have to do a little more filing to profile it. Uh, cut out the top part here. And I'll use some uh, 40 grit sandpaper and uh, I like to use these sanding sponges. I think this is a uh, 80 grit because you can go around the contour of the back of the neck here. And then I'll use a straight edge to make sure this is ready for the fretboard to go on here to get glued on. And we'll uh, get the neck finished up.